The World Trade Organization would like to enlarge its headquarters in Geneva. The WTO is responsible for regulating trade worldwide, but in Switzerland, because of direct democracy, it must undergo a local vote to enlarge its own premises. The WTO recently opened its doors to the public and organised guided tours in the hope of convincing voters to accept the new building, which needs more than just a new coat of paint. To make its headquarters bigger, a public park would have to be made smaller, something that is strongly opposed by some Geneva organisations. About 800 people work here, and in 20 years there will be 300 more. We need new headquarters. The existing building is already too small now. Next to the old building, a six-floor extension is planned. Cost, 40 million francs, paid by Switzerland. Around the building, a security fence should be erected. But for the left-wing party Solidarité, the fence eats away too much of the public park. To fight the project, it collected enough signatures for a referendum. We fear that the passage to the park and to the lake will be too restricted because in the near future they'll build more office space in the green until they have enough. The opposition is using the park to attack what the WTO represents, and in so doing is putting Geneva at risk, says the director of the city's building department. If the WTO were to move out of Geneva, it would give a very negative signal for the city, and we'll try to avoid this by all means. The WTO has previously threatened to leave Switzerland and set up shop somewhere else, in Hong Kong, for example. The threat spurred an immediate reaction, and in 2007, the Swiss foreign minister promised the WTO the funds to enlarge the building. Diplomats and international conferences are a lucrative business here. If the Geneva residents voted no to the project on September the 27th, they'd be shooting themselves in the foot, thinks Sandrine Salerno, Geneva finance director. They represent several billions for our economy and fiscal system. But most important is that Geneva remains an international platform for conflict solving. If the people in Geneva vote no, the Swiss government would be in trouble after the long negotiations we had about urban planning. I think it's good to strengthen the WTO. I'm against it. An organization shouldn't use a public park. If I think the project is good, it mainly affects the parking lot and not the park. Organizers hope the open day sent a strong signal to the Geneva community, to which the WTO has been linked for many years, and it hopes for many more to come.